Hello guys, today I want to show you an example of Laravel validation, which is non-standard with custom validation rule, but pretty commonly needed. For example, you have an eShop, you want to order some quantities of products, but what if the price has changed since the beginning of filling this form? Or maybe the product was bought out and sold out and out of stock. How to validate that after submit? or even in live mode after the customer changes the quantity. So imagine in the database, for example, while we're picking the products, the price has changed from seven to eight. I will do that directly in the database, but it could be done by some admin panel, some command, some external event or whatever. And also stock became from seven to one. This is a very simplified example. Of course, in real eShop, you would have like price history changes, stock changes and stuff like that. But this is just a simplified example to show you the validation. So I saved the data. And now if I submit that form, I will have two validation errors. We have only one product of product one and then alt price changed alt price seven to eight. So how to implement that in Laravel? Here's my demo project. The form in Blade is pretty simple. To show validation errors, I'm using Blade component from Laravel Breeze. It's just doing the for each of the sessions validation errors. And I've noticed my PHP storm is not aligned. Let's fix that. And in the controller, the main problem in the storm method is that there's no validation rule in Laravel specifically for what you need. You cannot really do required, unique and stock changed or price changed. So you need a custom validation rule and you can generate that pretty easily in Laravel with PHP Artisan make rule. And I will use specifically a newer syntax, which appeared in Laravel 9 invocable syntax. With that, I don't need to have separate method for messages. And in general, it's pretty more readable. And this is the actual class of validation. I will explain it step by step. So that validation rule with invocable has only one method of invoke with those three parameters. This is generated by Laravel itself. On top, the class name is product stock price rule, and we will get to the data aware rule and data in a minute. For now, the first check inside of the same validation rule, we can perform several checks. So first we check if the products were passed at all. So we have the value from the form and we do array filter. Did you know that the PHP function array filter without any parameters filter out the empty values, including the zeros? And then we check if the value of the filtered products is empty, then we return the fail. In fact, not even return. This is how invocable validation rules work. You just call dollar fail with the error message and that would come as validation error. That's it. The second part of our check is we get the products from the database, like real actual prices and stock, and we will compare those values with our values from the form in a for each loop. So for each of our products from the form, we check if the quantity, if the form value is bigger than the stock left from the database, then we return the validation message also with some helping information about the actual stock left. And keep in mind, I'm not calling the database here. I call the database once to get all the products and compare with the collection with a helping method of key by which allows me to access something like this by ID. So I don't call the database every time for performance. And then we get the result of error text in the string variable. And if it's not empty, then we fail at the end. So the second check is for stock. Pretty straightforward, right? Now the third check is a bit more complicated. We need to check the prices, but where do we get the prices from? I mean the prices that were at the time of starting to fill the form. And two things here. First, we need to pass them from the blade. And as a part of the create blade in the table, we have a hidden input with the value of price of each product which becomes an array of prices, which is then passed to the actual controller here as request prices. But wait, our custom validation rule is assigned to the products, not to the prices. So how does this validation rule know about the prices? And for that, in the invocable validation rules, we have this. We need to implement data aware rule, which comes from Laravel core and then we need to implement this. This is basically copy paste from the documentation. I didn't change anything. So we need to have data array and that array would contain everything that came from the request from the form. 
all the prices, quantities, whatever you want, that would become the data. And then inside of our invoke, we can access that as this data and prices or whatever other inputs you want. And then we check the same fashion. If the price from the database, the current price is different. So if it's changed, then we add our text string. We fill in with more information about what went wrong. And again, if the error is not empty, we return it. So this is how you would do that in Laravel as a backend validation. But what if you want to have live validation? For example, you fill in the quantity and then first thing, total price is calculated automatically. So for example, this is eight plus nine. And then if someone reaches the quantity maximum, depending on the stock, then validation error is shown automatically here. You can do that in various ways with various tools in JavaScript. I personally prefer Laravel Livewire as a typical backender. Historically, I try to avoid writing JavaScript if possible, if I'm in charge of decisions behind the project. And I have that implemented on my Laravel daily com as a premium tutorial for you to check. So this video is for free about the backend validation. But if you want the live wire version, I will link in the description below the premium tutorial, which actually has both the same thing. The first part is the validation, which I've just shown. But at the middle somewhere, if we scroll down, we have live wire showing total price with live wire and calling the validation in live mode. In this case, I try to show it from the very beginning from installing live wire. So even if you haven't used live wire before, this should be understandable for you. So again, the link is in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.